so I am here with Brayden. And um, I actually took this little guy off of eBay. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and keep him. And even though it was more for size purposes of why I was trying to get rid of him and um, or let him go, I should say. Um, and I wanted an, another Stephanie baby. But I decided to keep him because... Um, like I said, when I initially got him, I'm so in love with this style of her painting. And he has so many details. His veining, everything is just so realistic on him. And I got him for a really good price, which is why I was selling him at such a low price on eBay. But to many people that love this sculpt, he's worth a lot more. And because even his blank sculpt is... um. Let me see if he wants his one little bit of bottle. Let's see. Um, even his blank sculpt cost pretty much what I paid for him on eBay. It was a bidding thing and it was no reserve. So I got really lucky. Um, but I really, really, really love the way he's um, done. And his hair is softly painted. And I just, I don't know, I just really... Really, really love Stephanie um, Caucasian babies. And I think um, with all this going on, he just would be perfect to just keep. So I'm going to start um, finding him some new stuff. And he doesn't drink that much, of course, because he's such a small peanut. Um, I'm going to start finding him some, some more stuff to... Um, wear and stuff like that. He does fit newborn, so that's good. Small newborn clothes, he can fit, you know, really nicely. So that's really a plus. Are you gonna burp, man? Mwah. Gonna burp. So yeah, that's a really good thing. So it's not as hard. I'm gonna change him. I'll change his diaper too. So I know he's gonna need a diaper change. Um, was looking at. Uh, the video Stephanie did a review on some honey bug pacifiers I believe and they're really cool um so I bought him all different kinds of outfits down here to see I'm gonna see what if this fits him I know it's really big but I'm gonna see how it looks on him first um and then if not I'm gonna put him on one of these onesies and I bought him some socks down um the I brought him a new pass Pamper down too. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, let me tell you about the the um, the pacifiers. They're really cool. They come with a little cap on them, and you just open the cap, put your magnet in, no glue, no anything. Put the cap back on, and then it goes on their mouth, and you can flip the magnet, you know, back and forth between babies. And I thought, wow, that's awesome. You know what I mean? Um. Cause I, sometimes I'll send artists when I get a custom, I'll send them a pacifier and that will match my other baby so that their magnet in their head is um, the same. Because that's the one thing I am afraid of trying to do is changing their magnets out in their head. I don't, I won't do that. I'll just be stuck making, you know, different, different pacifiers. Um... And so far, I got a few of my babies that, you know, share the same pacifier. And, like, with my angel, I'm really into the babies that can take modified pacifiers, too, because my angel and Jacori, they can take both magnet and um, modified pacifiers. And I really, really like that. Um, the only thing, which he is a baby that has, you know, the magnet on his lips. And who else? I think, oh, and... Um, Jamal has it on his on his lips too um, so those pacifiers will work for him but all my other babies like my yogi babies always come with their magnets on their chin which I really like because it allows the pacifier to fit flush against the um, their face um, a lot easier so 
I don't think they the where the magnet is located in the center of that passy it's gonna only work for those that have you know the magnets all behind their lips which is cool because a lot of artists do do that so I think they will really I'm gonna get them and try them and see how they work I'll let you guys know I'm wondering if the magnet still fits as strong <clears throat> being that it's you know not directly on their face and he can fit this little outfit it's kind of loose on him but he can fit it um and the thing about it we, we a lot of us try to get the outfits like fitting them like just right but when babies are small like this you know, newborn and, and even and especially preemie, because he's preemie. Um, the clothes never fit them like perfect like that, hardly ever. So I think he can fit it. Um, I think I'll just let him keep that on. He looks good in cream and soft blues. I think I'll keep it, let him keep it on. Um, and I'll put him on this other stuff later and I'll leave his little feet out. And I got, he has a blue hat, a baby blue hat that he can wear that is really small, that fits his little face. And he came with a pacifier that was really cute that um, Stephanie sent and it fits really nice on his face. That's another thing about um, when I get my babies. I love when the artist puts a strong magnet in their head to where, you know, the mag the pacifiers does fit, you know, and stick easy and it's not falling off. And um, so, yeah, I'm super, super, super. I love him and I reweighted him so he has a little weight to him. Everybody knows I like my babies heavy. Um, so he has, but I didn't make him extremely heavy because he is preemie. So I only added just a little bit more weight to him than what, um, he came with because he is, um, he is preemie. And so I just feel like, you know, with preemie, they still should have some small to them. It should be kind of small. So I have to take his picture and then I will... Take his picture with his hat off. Get this baby all posed up for a picture. Can we get posed for the picture? I should have gotten, let's see if we get a picture with him with a bottle. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I've made it leak, I think. <clears throat> well, I like those nipples without the holes in them a lot. He has such the cutest little, like, he's like a balled up baby, like, so cute. When he's laying, he really looks like little babies are. They're always so, so balled up. All right. So, like I said, this is Brayden. And he was painted by Stephanie Ortiz in Love Reborns 2011. And um, I've had him for a while. Just haven't really played with him. He's really been display. I do... Like changes clothes from time to time and he just pretty much stays in the bed or you know sometimes he's on the changing table as you know the first baby I see when I walk in because like I said I'm so super fascinated with his painting it's like phenomenal like I I was expecting his bed to go up so high um and I've always loved this sculpt like I fell in love with this sculpt and heavenly um because of actually believe it or not stephanie channel when she had her heavenly for a long time 
I was so in love that they take took that baby out everywhere. It just, it was just like, oh my God, I want that baby. Like, I love that baby. So, yeah, so I'm going to keep him. So, everybody, like, I know I've already welcomed him before, but we're going to welcome him again as he's staying in my forever collection. So far, all the babies that I have, I plan to keep. And um, I think I'm done selling now. I've sold my last baby. And so I'm really excited about that because selling is very hard, especially reselling. Um, and um, so, yeah, so I'm going to take his picture, last picture. And get a little closer. And you guys can see his details. He's amazing. Um, I love his lips. Oh my gosh, his lips look so real in person. Like sometimes I know a lot of people say this all the time on their videos. Like I hate that the cameras never really show. Like just how real they look. That's why I get a kick out of taking my baby. When I do take my babies out, I get a kick out of people going crazy over him. Um, actually, too, um, a lady came over. She was a Caucasian lady, and all my babies were. I had a bunch of babies laying over to the side. All of my lighter babies that was laying over to the side, and he was the first one she touched. She was like, "Oh my gosh, he looks so real. That's crazy." So yeah, he's he's awesome. So, and I love, look, even though his fingers are so tiny, look how his, um, he does have, like, on some of the fingers, he has, like, a little, hang on, can you see him? Say, hey, Mommy, you're showing off my cloth. Um, it's, like, a barely little tip there, and that's just so real to me. Like, it's, he's, it's not a French manicure, but because his fingers, he's so little, he, it's barely there, but it's there, and it's so neat. I don't see how they get it so neat. Um, but anyway, all right, guys, bye.